Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be fertilizing our little drosera regi over here because we need to fertilize them twice a week and I keep forgetting. So that's what I'll be doing with you guys today. And we will be making some more tin foil. So I'll talk about that more in the video. So guys, if you're new to this channel, a couple months ago, we actually planted this, this bird. We planted up this pot with some seeds of Drosera regi, the biggest sundew in the world. And of course, this guy needs to get fertilized because, because they're such big you know, sundews and they are the biggest in the world, when they're very, very young, what they actually do is that they starve themselves to death while trying to grow. So obviously they need to get some fertilizer or else they'll all die. And actually we did have three sprouts, but now we only have one because the other two just died. And I think it was because they weren't getting fed enough, even though I did fertilize them. So yeah, it's really, really strange, but we will be looking at that today. And you guys will obviously get an update on how big it's getting now. It's starting to grow, you know, much quicker now. And I think that's because there's more sunlight and because it's actually getting, you know, bigger. So it has more surface area to collect carbon and obviously to photosynthesize too, and it has bigger roots, which helps it to get more food, obviously. So yeah, many different reasons as to why it's starting to grow a little bit quicker now, but it is looking really good. And I hope that you guys enjoy the progress it's made. And then as I said, we'll be doing some more foil. So as you saw on our little pot here, this is our Drostra Regi pot. It has a sleeve of foil around it. And the reason why it has this foil is because it may or may not, you know, actually affect this, but it probably does a little bit. I put foil around some of the pots, the pots and the plants, which like to be kept cooler or colder because the thing is, is that these guys don't like having very hot roots. Where they're native to, they generally experience very cold climates because they're living at the top of mountains or their roots are kept really cold because they have slow moving water underneath their roots, which really keeps them nice and cold. So obviously we grow them in trays outside if we just leave them like that, they're gonna get really, really warm. So that's why I put foil on them. And you know, I'm, I don't know if it does much. You know, I, I think it helps a little bit because it obviously deflects the radiation coming from the sun firstly. And secondly, if it has good contact with the pot, it helps to pull that energy that it has direct contact with out of the pot and then releases it because it is obviously a metal, it's very conductive. So yeah. <sighs> Mm, I'm not sure how well it does or doesn't work, but I just do it anyway because I feel like it helps So that's the biggest thing anyway But the best thing that you should really do for those guys that like to be kept, you know Cooler with cooler roots is to top water them and I cannot top water this tiny little guy here Because the thing is if I top water him What will happen is that obviously all the fertilizer that I give it will get washed out and Secondly the water that hits it will cause a plant to fall over and it will die so until this guy is actually big enough that I can properly top water it, it's gonna be kept in the water tray. So until then, this is how it's gonna be. So now let me turn around the camera for you guys and you guys can see our little Drosera Regi up close and see how well it's doing. So here we go guys, you can see our Drosera Regi and I just noticed a little fungus nap larvae over there. Ugh, so that is quite annoying, but these guys are starting to get big now and they are literally starting to eat all of the fungus gnats and the random bugs and flies and mosquitoes that are outside. So I'm not very worried about it. These guys' root systems are now pretty strong. And when they grow up, they'll be able to take their revenge on these damn fungus gnats. But anyway, right here in the background, I have a mixture of some seaweed fertilizer. If you're living in the USA, you should really get something called Maxi. And I do have links in the description below for you guys. So if you do want some fertilizer, definitely check it out. And all you really wanna do with little rejars, you just wanna put some drops on it so that it gets the fertilizer all the way down to the roots. You see, this is why I don't wanna to top water them because they fall over. Just prop them up back up a little bit. But yeah, you see what I mean? But anyway, it will be fine. It might pop back up, yeah, pop. So it just shows that the root systems system is now pretty strong, that it is able to pop back up 
you know, once it falls over a little bit like that. So that's a good sign. But anyway, you guys can see it is developing another leaf on the right hand side. And there is one coming straight out of the middle, another new leaf, which is obviously a, a really good sign. Shows that the plant is nice and happy. It's growing strong. And obviously <laughs> the way that it bounces back up from being heavy like that is also a really good sign that the roots are nice and strong and healthy, obviously, because if they were weak and broken, the plant would just lay, you know, lay over and obviously not bounce right back up. So yeah, anyway, now let's start looking at creating some more foil for these guys. Okay guys, so in order to make the foil, you, well, the, the sleeve for the foil, obviously I can't just create foil like this, you know, make it, make it just appear in my hand or something. What I mean is creating the foil sleeve for these guys. What you're gonna need is that you're gonna need your pot. And the reason why you need your pot is to figure out how much foil you're actually gonna need to cut off of your foil wrap. You want to obviously have your pot and you wanna, this is probably the most important part. You wanna measure the height. And I know that these, these pots are about 10 centimeters in height, which is a, you know, exactly like a little bit past four inches for you American guys. I, I, don't, know how, I don't know how to say like decimals for the inches, but anyway, four inches, 10 centimeters. So what this means is that the height of your foil sleeve is going to be four inches or 10 centimeters so that you know, you know, how high or low to create it. Now, the next thing is that with your foil, obviously your foil is this long. So if you have your pot, it's gonna use up that much in one full 360 degree rotation, you see? The pot goes 360 degrees, it will use that much. So you may or may not have a little bit extra depending on the, obviously the size of your foil. So what you could do is that you could cut off that little bit extra if you don't want a little bit extra on, on your sleeve for your pot, but honestly, it doesn't matter. If you have, even if you have like two inches extra, just fold it back over itself. It doesn't make much of a difference. So all that we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this foil, we're going to measure out 10 centimeters so it obviously fits the length of the pot. And then we will just wrap it around and then I will show you guys exactly um, how to do that with the sever tape as well. So let me just change the camera for you guys and we can talk a little bit more about it. Okay guys, so in order to actually create these sleeves, this is what you'll need. You'll need some scissors, you'll need some sellotape, and you'll obviously need your foil. And now it's obviously a very simple process, as I said, you just need to take your pot and then measure the height, which I've already done with you guys. So once you figure out the height, it is a very, very simple process. All you wanna do is you wanna get your foil out and then measure obviously the length of the pot. So as I said, our pot is four inches or 10 centimeters. So right at this mark here. And then all I, all I do is I'll just press down here because it'll make a mark. Or you guys can just use a pen or something. Obviously it's very, very easy. Just make a mark so you know where to cut. And what you wanna do is that you wanna make this mark kind of along the whole foil so that you obviously can follow the marks when you cut it with your scissors. Now obviously talking about cutting it, you just wanna get your scissors and just cut it off. And there we go guys, very, very simple. Like I said to you guys, it is very, it's a very easy thing to do. And I'm really not sure how much it does or doesn't help, but I like to believe it does. But anyway, you can see here now, because we obviously measured it to be 10 centimeters, you can see that it essentially fits the part perfectly. So there's a little bit of extra space, but it doesn't matter, because that's really meant to go up there. But it honestly, this is exactly what you need. Now, what you could do is that you could put it on your pot now and then tape it on afterwards, like roll it all on now and then put some tape on, but I find that to be a little bit difficult. So what I like to do is that I actually fold this over into about, into about thirds with a little bit of extra space, you know, that extra space I was talking about. You can use that to, to fold it over here. Take your tape and obviously just stick it down. And then once it is now obviously folded like this, now this is when I like to put the, the, the pot in. So you just open it back up. You don't have to worry about holding the ends together or anything. You can simply just 
fold out the creases, and now you can see that your pot can fit inside of this. Super, super easy, you see? Now, it's not for this pot, it's actually for this little pot here. This is Drosera Tentaculata, it's from, I think this one's from Mexico? No, this one is from Brazil, so yeah. It's for these guys, because these are South American Drosera, and South American Drosera like to be kept cooler and colder, because I think they grow on the mountain tops, so that's why we want the foil for this guy. And I'll show you like literally how simple this is. You literally just put your pot in. Guys, I think I tightened it a little bit too much with the set of tape. Okay guys, so I just fixed it up. Obviously, yes, there will be extra space, but don't be stupid like me. Make sure you actually measure out how much extra space you have. I wasn't really thinking when I did that, so now the pot should fit in perfectly fine. And there we go, it does. So it goes all the way up to the top, as you guys can see right there. And then what I like to do is that because the, the pot is obviously tapered at the bottom, the length around it is less than at the top, this is where I just gently pull the foil and fold it over itself. Hope you guys can see this. So that now you guys can see that foil has been folded over itself and then I just, I don't like the foil to be covering the holes at the bottom so that's what I'm just doing right now. I'm just making sure that they're all okay. But as you can tell, because you made it, you know, a pretty tight fit around the pot, it's not gonna slide off anymore. And then you can just put your tag back in and it's, you know, all perfectly fine now. So, forgot that this was in frame. This is actually Nepenthe's Blue BI. You guys might have remembered it from some of the most expensive Nepenthe's in the world. Obviously they grow really slowly and they actually have portable pitchers. So yeah, as I said, I just take the pitcher off of the plant and I use it to drink some of my water and then I just stick it back onto the plant when I get back home, so. That's how that Nepenthes works. But anyway, now that we have the foil on, obviously it will hopefully prevent too much sunlight from hitting the sides of the pots, keep it a little bit cooler. As I said, I don't really know how well it does or doesn't work. Maybe we'll do an experiment in the future when I can, you know, have big plants and I could properly check it out. But yeah, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel in case we do do that. I think it'll be very, very interesting. So yeah, definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And that is it for today's video, guys. We obviously, fertilized up our little drostra regi over here he's growing really really well now and we just created some more foil for this drostra tentaculata here from brazil which is also growing really really good right now and you know we just put the foil on just to help keep it cooler during the very sunny times in summer sorry there's a little bit of an, a crease at the back but it's fine let's go put these guys now back outside into the collection and hopefully they'll start doing really, really well now. So if you guys find this informative, if you find it helpful at all, or anything like that, please remember to leave a like. And if you enjoy this content, if you wanna grow all of our plants with us, join us on that adventure of growing all of our different plants that we have outside. And obviously these guys here in the kitchen too, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you guys in the next episode.